We are lost. Hey everyone. So it's a beautiful day here in Waterloo, Ontario today. And I'm currently heading to my first and only class of the day. It's an hour and a half stats lecture. And after that class, I'm gonna be talking about a project that I'm starting this week. And I'm gonna be bringing you along with me. So catch you after class. Nothing seems the same. I'm now back in class, and let me tell you, I felt a whole lot longer than an hour and a half. So as of now, I've uploaded a few videos that are just some of the workouts that I performed day in and day out. I'm going to continue uploading videos like this, but they're going to now be more in depth. I'm going to include things like set and rep routines and tips for certain exercises. In addition to these videos, I'll be starting a new project. I'll now be doing a training vlog on my preparation for the next two races that I'll be doing. I'll be posting these videos every Monday. The races that I'll be running are the 30 km around the bay race in Hamilton, Ontario that will take place March 25th, 2018. I'll also be running a marathon in Waterloo, Ontario, April 29th, 2018. These videos are going to cover any, everything from my runs, the distances I plan to run, highlights of my workouts, the goals for my week, my diet, and of course the transformation of my body. I will also be including tips on how to become a better runner and tips on long distance running. Currently I am 6 foot 6 inches and I weigh about 203 pounds and the reason why I'll be including a body transformation is because in the next few months my body is going to change a lot. So definitely watch out. <clears throat> I started taking running really seriously in June 2017 which when it, it was about seven months ago when a family member asked me to run a half marathon with them and being the person I am and always loving new challenges I instantly said yes and started training. I had no real prior knowledge on how to train for a half marathon as it was completely entirely new to me but I spent my entire life playing football and lacrosse and ran on and off. So I started running with uh, about eight kilometers three times a week then increased the amount of runs I did weekly. Eventually I was running about five to six times a week and running longer distances. Four months passed this way and in September the day my first race was here. I had really no idea how I was going to do uh, but I made a goal to finish the race in an hour and 45 minutes. I knew that training incredibly hard for four months would get me to the finish but honestly I had no idea that I was about to finish in the top 150. I will admit that I was a little scared as I'd only ran 24.1 kilometers, which is the distance of a half marathon, only once in the summer before the race, which I had no idea if this was a good thing or a bad thing. After all, marathon training was completely new to me. <clears throat> as I finished the race, I had realized I had run with ease and felt amazing the entire time. I looked up and I noticed I finished in an hour and 36 minutes, placed in 144 out of 7,000 people. I was stoked. And the crazy thing was, is I knew I actually found a passion for running before the race even started. I said to myself though, if I do well, I'm definitely going to continue with running and I'm going to be the best runner I can be. Now I'm here seven months later and I'm training for two big races that I never thought I'd have the courage to do or be even capable of doing. Through this story, I want to help inspire and motivate others to find your passion as I did. Work towards it now and not tomorrow, not in a month, but today. Because if I can find something like this and I'm driven so hard to keep challenging myself like I am, then so can you. All right, story time is over. I gotta get to this run. I'm probably gonna go for about 15 kilometers. No idea yet. That's the best thing about running though. You can just go anywhere. So let's get it. So I'm currently at a track right now, the track that was in my last video. It's about two kilometers away from my house. I decided to run here, thought, check it out, see if it was clear, maybe we could finish my run on here. But as you can tell, it is not very clear. So we're just gonna have to continue to run around on the streets. Let's keep going. So I'm five kilometers in and it's been about 22 minutes. 
I was feeling pretty sore at the beginning of this run, but now I'm loosened up and I'm actually going at a fairly good pace. Not as fast as I want to be, but it's still decent. I'm going to be taking the rest of this run POV as I made the rookie mistake and did not charge my phone before this run. So it looks like I'll be only doing about 10K right now and then I'll be heading to the gym. Maybe I can make it up there. Otherwise, get you back at home. Completed 10 kilometers within 42 minutes today. I'm pretty happy with that as I was able to pick up the pace at the five kilometer, five kilometer mark. And it was definitely a great day to run outside. Uh, it wasn't too icy. I actually started with my running spikes on and about after one kilometer, I had to take them off because it was actually hurting my feet to run with them. Uh, and now I'm going to eat real quick so I can feel back up. I'm currently waiting for Michaela to be getting home from work so we can get to the gym for a weightlifting session. Look who's home. Hey guys. We're gonna be heading to the gym in about half an hour and we'll see you there. to focus on a full body workout tonight. A full body workout is great for any athlete or fitness level as it shocks and surprises your body in many ways. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel for weekly videos. Thank you.